Today is Saturday, 5th of February, 2022, with Pastor Chris teaching. Our topic for today is the power of righteousness. Our theme scripture is taken from Romans 3, verse 22, and it says, Even the righteousness of God, which is by the faith of Jesus Christ unto all and upon all them that believe, for there is no difference. Hallelujah. It was with the gift of righteousness that Abraham was able to intercede for Sodom when God wanted to destroy the city. Pastor begins. God had said in Genesis 18:17 of the Amplified Classic, Shall I hide from Abraham, my friend and servant, what I am going to do? Abraham had become God's friend through covenant, Pastor says. The Bible says, Abraham believed God and it was credited to him for righteousness. And he was called the friend of God, as to find in James 2 verse 23. That was the bestowal. The gift of righteousness was given to Abraham, and he could boldly engage God in an intercessory discourse. He said to God, That be far from thee to do after this manner, to slay the righteous with the wicked, and that the righteous should be as the wicked. That be far from thee. Shall not the judge of all the earth do right? That was from Genesis 18 verse 25. He was presenting an argument before God. How could a man have such incredible audacity to speak to God like that? He wasn't trying to be disrespectful or impudent. No, he was expressing the power of the gift of righteousness. Glory to God. Genesis 15, 6 tells us, And he believed in the Lord, and he counted it to him for righteousness. Hallelujah. Pastor says, Righteousness enables you to stand in the presence of God without a sense of condemnation or inferiority. This righteousness, according to our theme verse, is unto all and upon all. That's to let you understand the bestowal, the imputation of God's righteousness to all men, the legal perspective of this righteousness. Praise God. With this gift, Pastor says, you can decree a thing and have it established unto you. Hallelujah. Our righteousness is on the basis of a legal claim, and because many aren't aware, they struggle with their faith, not sure whether or not their petitions will be granted. But when you stand on his righteousness, Pastor says in conclusion, you have no such doubts because you have the past. Your claims can't be refused because you stand in the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord our God, for your word to us today. Okay, let's take a confession now, meaning it to the whole of our hearts. Please say after me, A righteousness from God that divine acquittal by faith has been manifested and it's imputed to my account. With that gift of righteousness, I have the boldness and confidence to stand before God without guilt, condemnation or inferiority, and pray to him and expect answers. I have peace with God through the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. All right for further study, please read Romans 5 verse 1, Romans 5 17, and Romans 3 21 to 22 of the NIV. If you never received salvation, if you've never received Christ into your heart. If you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe He died to save me. I believe God raised Him from the dead and He's alive today. 
I confess with my mouth, Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him, I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. Every one of us has the capacity to become a forest. I'm a tree of righteousness and I am producing a forest. A forest of trees of righteousness. The February Global Communion Service and Praise Night with our man of God, Pastor Chris, is here. It's a unique and glorious opportunity to sing songs of praise to God, to break bread and take the cup. What a celebration it will be. Join Love World Ministry programs to sponsor this epical event, which takes place on Sunday, 6 February 2022.